Hi folks, it's me, OG Duffy, with an unboxing and a setup of this, the A500. Now it's called the A500 Mini. Uh, they're steering away from the word um, sort of uh, Amiga and Commodore because I believe they didn't get the co proper copyright. Uh, I'm not too sure, but um, I was I was on the bench about. Oh, sorry, on the fence about this. To be honest, I was like, do I get it? Don't I? And I, I let it go. To be honest, and then I started seeing a few videos online, and, that, and it took me right back because I do own uh, the um, the Amiga 500, which takes these discs. But to be honest, right. It's a ball rake to set it up, put your discs in, wait for loading and all that. And I thought, you know what? It's small. I can tuck it away. It's got a nice game pad and all that with it. So I thought, we'll give it a go. So I purchased this bad boy. I got it on Amazon. I think it was about £115-ish. So not over expensive, I don't think. You can sideload extra games in that onto it, which I'll be doing a video of. So if you guys have got one of these and want to know how to do that, check that out. It's coming real soon. And I want to revisit some of them old classics like your Cannon Fodder, your, your, your Monkey Island and all that, all via the Amiga. Because the, I've got superb memories of them games. So anyway, without further ado, let's get this bad boy unboxed. So we've got the A500 Mini here. As you can see, it's still sealed. I haven't unboxed it yet, so we're going to look at it. First off, packaging. Very small. Nice, tiny, and well printed. I really like that. I mean, great show of games that you get installed on it. But forget all that. Let's get inside this bad boy. So, break my seal. The seal has been broken. There we go. And we open it up. And there it is in all its glory. Take a look at that. I'll tell you what, that's, that's really quite cute. I don't know what I was expecting. I've seen a few, of course, online and stuff. But I didn't expect it to look like that. It looks pretty cool. Um, solid, decent, decent weight to it. Got nice rubber feet and stuff. Um, on the back here, got your USB-C, which is for the power. You got a HDMI out and three USB ports, obviously for your peripherals, I would guess, controllers, etc. The keyboard is solid, doesn't move, but I have heard you can attach a keyboard via USB on there. So that's the console itself. Very impressive. So far, so good. So what we got here, a quick guide. Um, seems very, it's a very quick guide because obviously it's only a few pages for English. Pages one to four for English in that, so not that many. This tray comes out, which held the console and stuff. And then we've got the two controllers here. Obviously the mouse and the game pad. So let's dig deep here. Let's see the quality of these. Let's see what, what the weight of these is and stuff. Okay, so obviously we'll do the mouse first because I think that's the most iconic for the, uh, the A500, isn't it? Let's be honest. Okay, plastic wrapped. Pop that there for a minute. Uh, so that's the, uh, the HDMI cable that comes with it. 1.8 meters in length. And here we go. Mate, that takes me back. I did own a, an A500 back in the day. And I remember games. I think my favourites on it were... I remember Monkey Island. I remember uh, Cannon Fodder. Uh, I'll tell you, it's got a nice weight to it. It doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel um, 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 a tacky or anything. It feels quite good. Uh, I like the fact that the cables are the same colour as the, the, the sort of... the. I don't know, sort of, how would you call that? Beigey colour. Obviously, it's an optical mouse, uh, not the ball that we all remember from back in the day, but hey, that's got to be a better thing, isn't it, really? Uh, I feel I'm going to be quite looking forward to revisiting Monkey Island and things like that with that. And then we come to this, the game pad, which obviously lifts its design completely from the, um, the console that Amiga did, the CD32. Let's take a look in here, what we've got in here. So we've got a cable here, which is the USB-C cable, which is used for powering this console, uh, or mini console, should I say. And let's pick this pad up. Right, okay. Again, got a nice weight to it. Doesn't feel cheap, doesn't feel light or anything. Uh, shoulder buttons, four buttons there, your menu, your home, and your D-pad. Okay, all in all, quite pleased with that. And it's uh, obviously USB-C. So there's only one thing for it really now. Let's go get this bad boy plugged in and let's check out and let's see what the A500 actually does, shall we? Kicks off with a nice little loading screen. Uh, comes into your setup options. Uh, obviously going English on this because I'm English after all. Uh, now you get your television settings here. 
I'll, I'll go 50 hertz output. Uh, that's generally the European um, hertz. Uh, 60 hertz is generally US. Uh, and then it comes to the games. Uh, some games pre-installed on this, which are very nice. You've got Alien Breed. Uh, special Edition 92. There's not all special about it. Another World. Um, you push up and it shows you the controls for each game. And you push down and it shows you where you can save the games or save slots that you have in there. Uh, arcade Pool. Uh, ATR or Terrain Battle Chess. Uh, Cadaver. Can, don't know anything about that one. California Games, uh, The Chaos Engine, Dragon's Breath, F-16 Combat Pilot, Kickoff 2, The Lost Patrol, Paradroid 90, Pinball Dreams, uh, Project X, Quack, The Sentinel, Simon Sorcerer, Speedball 2, Stunt Car Racer, Supercars 2, Titus the Fox, Worms, The Director's Cut, Zool, um, Alien Breed 3D, and we're back there. So they're all the games that come installed on this. Uh, you can side install games, all right, via a USB. Uh, I'm going to do a separate video on that to show you guys how to do it if you've got yourself one of these. Uh, let's take a look at Zool now. Very colourful game. A game I never played back in the day. One that passed me by. A bit too sweet for me, I think. But too much sugar in this one. My God, there was plenty of sugar going on. Um, but here we go, so you can have a look at the graphics generally. I recorded this through my um, through a capture card from my PC. So it's uh, it's very bright. It, it, it goes up through to the TV at 720. All right, you can't get any higher than that, I don't believe. Uh, that's from the console uh, straight through to the TV. And it's all via HDMI cable. But sound-wise and graphically and everything else works brilliantly. Um, I was using the control pad for this. The uh, control pad works nicely. You can install as well, side install extra games as I said. So you can install A500 games, A600, Amiga 1200 games and uh, the CD32 console. Equally as well you get a virtual keyboard that appears in game in case you have to use some buttons during any point you can also i've been told attach a usb um, keyboard so you get your save slots there at the end of the game so you press your home button and you just push down and it will save in one of them slots there um what well, you choose to save or not uh, equally just go in and it will save your states as well so it's very good for that uh all in all i have to say i'm quite impressed with it Okay, I think the fact is that you can do the side um, installs of other games is, is, is the selling point to me, the big selling point. Uh, this is a game that a lot of Amiga owners really rave about back in the day. Um, and graphically and everything else, it's really pretty. It's a nice, pretty, solid game. Nice, bright graphics. A uh, good little shoot on this one. Uh, one I will be getting into, I, I'm sure. I might even do a few gameplay uh, videos from this system for you guys too. Um, it's it's the sounds good. I mean, the one thing I have been told, a few people have said that they found that the sound levels on some games when they start was far too high, uh, and you needed to sort of get some control over that. Uh, that can all be adjusted in the settings. Uh, we'll, we'll just have a little bit of play on this, and then we'll go through and we'll have a look at some of the settings. Um, uh, that you can adjust on this and what uh, the rest of it, okay? So I switch out to the options now. The display options, you've got a fixed size there, the moderate zoom and the screen fit. Um, you've got an e enable the CRT effect. Personally, I'm not a fan of this, but I will show you how it works. Um, we'll go into that and have a look. Um, as you can see, that gives it like the old lines of the traditional system, how it would look back in the day. Um, you don't have to have that. Some people might like it. I don't know. It's not for me, but hey, it's an option. Do you know what I mean? So it's good. It gives you all that as well. I uh, have heard on some games when you have it to screen fit, it can look a bit, um, 
uh, a bit funny on the eyes. I haven't experienced that yet. Uh, system options, what we've got there, mouse sensitivity, music volume, and the power LED. As I was saying earlier about the music volume, that's where you'd adjust it in here on certain games if it was too loud when you turned it on. Um, you got language, speaks for itself, advanced settings, television settings, which is your 50 hertz, 60 hertz, etc. And your shutdown device, which you do through here. Okay. So all in all, I was very impressed, as I say. Um, and uh, I am doing a video about how to install the, uh, the your own games and the rest of it. Because let's be honest, this system has some truly classic titles. So I'm really looking forward to revisiting them. Well, that concludes a little... Uh, the show there let's go now and get my official verdict so there we have it the a500 i keep wanting to use the words uh, amiga and commodore but you can't because it's not an official product i don't think uh, anyway what do i think what are my thoughts i'm quite impressed with it to be honest i think it's a nice little games console uh when i start getting the side games on the side loading and all that it'll be great to revisit some of them classics all via a um, sort of common or amiga emulation so i'm looking forward to that so the build quality i think the build quality is nice it's sturdy it's, it's a real cutesy little thing you know what i mean i've seen loads of images of it but until you actually see it in the flesh it's actually really quite quite cool uh i like the controller i have to say very similar to the cd32 controller uh and uh, the little mouse you get just took me right back you know i still remember my my first ever sort of soiree into football management games uh, apart from you know the zx 80 uh, 81 and spectrum of course football manager but this was a proper first football management game i've got onto on on this system so it took me right back really uh thoroughly enjoyable had a great great, great time with it and to be honest i've only just scratched the surface so i'm gonna be having a right old good play with this um so keep your eyes peeled on the channel for like i'm gonna i'm gonna let you know my favorite amiga games and all that that sort of thing that i'm going to be side loading onto this thing okay also i'm going to be doing a side loading video for you guys which is probably live any day really uh and um all in all i'm very impressed with it so is it worth 110 pounds oh, i think so it also emulates the uh the the other amiga systems of the day and it also emulates the cd32 so all in all i mean for, for like the 110 115 pound or whatever I don't think it's bad at all. Uh, I, I'm quite impressed with it. I'm quite liking it, you know. I think it's a pretty cool little system. Uh, the packaging and everything else is as cute as. Um, and I'm looking forward to venturing into this system far, far more. I've never looked into these mini systems before. But now I've had a little, little touch, I'm quite impressed. So I'll be keeping my eyes on further miniature releases of these sort of things, all right? But all in all... It's a thumbs up from OG Duffy. I think it's definitely worth a, a, a look at. If you're going to afford one, go get one. If you've got the expendable income to get one, then I would do so. It's going to bring you hours and hours of fun, especially with them side-loaded games. All right. So all in all, it's a big thumbs up, as I say. I've been OG Duffy. You guys have been awesome, as always. And let me know in the comments. Have you got one of these? Are you going to get one of these? What do you think of these? Are you into these mini systems or not? It'd be interesting to see, hear your thoughts as always, guys. Anyway, till next time, stay safe.